Welcome back to another Advent of You coding challenge. Today we're taking a look at number four, which has us create a Christmas tree. I skipped number three because it just wasn't a very interesting problem. I found number four to be a little bit more interesting, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. The goal is to make this Christmas tree here. You can see we have one node at the top and it's increasing by one each time until we get down to the bottom. Uh, the size is going to depend on this prop, and this is the starter template we have. We have a very simple app with a Christmas tree component, and inside of here we're rendering a single ball, which you can see over here on the right. We have the prop size, and we're going to go ahead and attempt to render this Christmas tree. The first thing we're going to do is render a row for each of the balls to be rendered on. So let's go ahead and try and do that. It's going to go ahead and comment this out for now to get started. Start off with a div and just say v4. Uh, v4 is usually used for an array, but you can use it with a number as well. So for example, you can do something like i in 10, and it will loop over this 10 times. We want to loop over size, so we're going to say for i in size, and go ahead and loop over these. If everything goes according to plan, we should see 7 rows, and so we do. Conveniently, we also have the correct number of rows, or the number of balls in each row. You can see over here on the left, we start off with 1, then 2, then 3, and these numbers are ascending in the correct order. So we can go ahead and just do another for loop and loop over each of these. Uh, this is not the way the author recommends solving it. The author recommends using recursion, which is definitely an interesting way to solve this problem. I'm going to go ahead and show you my solution. We'll then take a look at his recursive solution and compare the two and talk about some of the pros and cons. Either way, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. All we need to do now is have another nested for loop. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to loop over this inner div, so we're just going to go ahead and say v4 equals j of i, or j in i rather. And with a bit of luck, this is almost going to work. <laughs> we have the correct number of balls, but they're obviously not arranged in the correct fashion. Let's go ahead and add a class of flex, save this one off. Uh, we're not quite there, but we're pretty close. We just need to justify everything in the center. And with a bit of luck, we should hopefully see our Christmas tree. Unfortunately, that has not been rendered correctly because I typed the wrong uh, token. Let's go ahead and fix it up. And there you go, we have a Christmas tree, and that was a lot easier than expected. <laughs> what we're going to do before we take a look at the, another solution is I'd like to show you a trick I've been using recently, which is creating really simple inline components. Uh, this can be pretty useful, and I think it's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and take a look. What I'd like to do is create an inline component for this ball. Uh, I expect this will get more complex in the future if I'd like to make my Christmas tree a little bit more interesting. And before I go ahead and extract a component, I'm just going to create one inline here. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and declare a new functional component. I'm going to call my one ball, and it is going to be a functional component type. The first argument is props if you have them, and then you just need to go ahead and return your elements. Uh, in this case, we're going to return our div, so let's go ahead and copy paste it. And I prefer to use TSX for these. Uh, I just think it's a little bit more readable than using views h render function. Uh, to make this work, we're going to have to make sure we've installed TSX. I've already installed that. I'm using the JSX plugin and I passed it into my uh, plugins. Finally, we need to change our language from TS to TSX. The last thing I'm going to do is delete that and head back down here and use my ball. I'm going to use v4 as usual and with a bit of luck, this should still continue to work just fine. We are in fact getting an error here. I'm just going to go ahead and format this and see if that helps. And that should hopefully fix our problem. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I'm getting a very strange error which says failed to resolve component ball. I really have no idea why this is happening because the ball obviously exists, it's right here. What I've needed to do in the past is restart my dev server, strangely enough, <laughs> and that actually does fix the problem. I think the problem is I changed from lang ts to tsx and for some reason that messed up my vt dev server. Either way, it is now fixed and everything is working as expected. And that was a very easy problem to solve. No recursion involved whatsoever. Uh, let's go ahead and take, the, take a look at the author's solution and then compare the two. Uh, I'm going to head over here to the actual solution or the example of it. They do of course look exactly the same. There is one major difference though. We'll take a look at his component first just to get an idea of what we're dealing with. I've named this alt, but imagine this is called Christmas tree. This is going to be a recursive component. What the author is doing is this. He's rendering Christmas tree over and over again, whilst ever size is greater than one. And then he's going to go ahead and decrease the size by one each time. Then he does exactly the same thing as us, just rendering each of these rows. I'm actually very surprised this works out as well as it does. 
Uh, seeing this, I would say that size should be seven, then six, then five. So I would expect this tree to be rendered upside down. Uh, it's not, which is really surprising to me. I don't quite know how this is working, <laughs> but it does. If we go ahead and take, it the H take a look at the HTML, we'll see they are quite different. I'll first show you mine. So just jump over here and have a look at the inspector. You can see I have all of these rows in a single uh, non-nested fashion. It's just each row, and inside each row we have each of those balls. Uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward. If we take a look at the result of the nested structure, it is very different. You can see here everything is nested inside of each other, and it actually loops up from the bottom. Uh, so this is the result of what happens when you use uh, recursion. You end up with a non or a nested hierarchy. Uh, I don't think either of these is better or worse. Uh, I definitely prefer the more simple approach though, which is to not use recursion, just because it results in a much more simple and less nested DOM hierarchy. Also in general, I find recursion can be a little bit confusing, so I tend to only use it when I have a hierarchical data structure. Uh, in this case, there is no real hierarchy. The nodes are not related to each other at all, so I would say recursion is probably not the ideal solution here, uh, but there's def definitely different ways to solve this problem. And it is good to know you can do recursive components in Vue. Uh, it, components are able to reference themselves when you do recursion, and this can be very useful for a certain class of problems. Either way, that's pretty much all I have to talk about with this problem. I have a feeling this Christmas tree is going to be reused in future problems, so we will probably revisit this. If the ball component becomes more complex, I will probably refactor this into a single file component of its own, but for now I am happy with this inline component. I think it makes my template more readable and concise, and keeps all the logic nested in one place. Either way, that's all I've got for now. I'll see you next time in the next advent of Vue Coding Challenge.